Compass has had a full rebrand for 2017 with three completely new ranges. The entry-level Casita, the top-spec Camino and this, the mid-level Capiro. It's to bring it in line with its sister models from Eldis. Now, although this is a middle-of-the-road range, there's still plenty of kit on it. Up front, we've got an Alco AKS hitch stabiliser, an ATC stability control, and then down the side where we've got a gas barbecue point, an external locker, alloy wheels, and unfortunately, you've also got a toilet hatch on the near side, which isn't great if you've got your awning up and you need to empty it. However, although this is a completely new range, there are quite a few traditional features to be found inside. And what could be more traditional than a parallel lounge side donette layout? Although this side donette isn't quite like all the others, it really is unusually wide. This van sleeps three people, and this dinette should accommodate them fairly comfortably. At night it turns into an unusually large single bed, so it'll still be usable when your grandkid turns into a teenager. If you opt for the optional fourth bunk, which sits along the wall here, I suspect it might be a little bit on the snug side. Over here on the near side, well, it's really well kitted out. We've got a dual fuel hob, a separate oven and grill, and bags of storage both under the counter and up high, including this rather funky cocktail cabinet. There's an unusually large sink here too. It really is massive. I'm not entirely sure about the slightly dated granite effect, however. And over on the other side again, well, we've got a great mounting for the microwave. Nice and low, and there's even a drawer underneath it, which means that it's set above, so when you open the door, it won't take out all the trinkets on the shelf beneath. Above that, there's another storage cupboard, and inside, you'll find all the sockets for your TV, with a little exit point for the wires, so you can mount a TV stand on the front of the bulkhead there, sit back in the lounge and watch telly. There are more sockets over here in the kitchen with two USB points which are becoming increasingly useful and two 230 volt points. And when it comes to dinner time, you haven't got to go all the way to the back of the van to get your table because it's mounted right here in the kitchen. And while you're sitting down to lunch, you'll be bathed with light thanks to that huge roof light, panoramic sunroof, three front windows, and indeed two side windows. It feels really spacious up front here as well. There's room for six to sit around the table. And there's masses of storage. We've got four overhead lockers to join the three above the dinette in the back, masses of space underneath these sofas with drop-down flaps to access it. This side's a little bit restricted by the boiler, but that side's completely free and also has external access. Plus, of course, we've got the usual front chest with a pull-out coffee table, should you not have to get the freestanding table out the kitchen. And of course, at night, this is the main sleeping area. These two sofas are six foot two inches long, so they're perfectly usable as singles. However, if you want a double, you simply slide the slats out, rearrange the cushions, and it's a whopping six foot six long. This is a particularly well-resolved bathroom. Not only is it hugely spacious, but it's also packed with kit. We've got an airing cupboard here on the near side wall, and behind me, a good sized wardrobe. Behind that, there's a fully lined large square shower unit, which has got an orbit shower head and a soap dish inside. And ahead of me on the rear wall of the caravan, well, there's a great vanity unit with backlit mirror, complete with click clack plug. Beneath that, there's a bathroom cabinet and alongside it, a heated towel rail, powered, of course, by the standard Aldi wet central heating. Alongside that, you'll find the electric flush loo, above it, a smoked window, and above that, another bathroom cabinet. This Capiro 530 weighs in fully laden at 1,421 kilos. That brings it within range of plenty of tow cars. It costs a shade over 21,000 pounds when you include the delivery charge. Now that sounds like quite a lot of money for a mid-market model, but when you bear in mind the exceptionally high kit levels that come as standard in this van, it really doesn't sound too bad, particularly when you bear in mind that this is the sort of layout that's chosen by serious caravanners.